What you guys got another video here on how to make Windows 11 security better. Now we all know that Windows Defender comes pre-installed in uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11. So if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can use this to make your security better for that operating system. Let's take a look at what we've got here. So this is a fresh install of Windows 11 here. And we all know that Windows security isn't the best and we need to make it as best as we can by tightening up our security. Now, it's not very clear inside here and easy to navigate. There's a lot of hidden settings inside Windows Defender that a lot of people uh, don't know. So let's take a look here. So we can see this is exactly what we're having to work with. There's a bunch of areas inside here which you have to go into and manage like this right here. And a lot of people really don't uh, navigate into this very often. And I'm going to show you a really cool way of making this a lot easier and a lot more secure. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in this video. So to make Windows security better, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get Defender UI. Now, Microsoft Defender needs a better UI, and this is where... A Defender UI comes in. What it does is it makes things a lot easier to set up and see what you're actually doing inside Windows Defender. And this is it right here. It's a free tool that we can use. So I'm going to go ahead and get this downloaded and get it installed on the system and I'll show you in more detail. So all we need to do here is hit the download free button here and this will start to download the program. So I'm going to click on this one here. And what we're going to do is you can see it's done by Voodoo Soft LLC. I'm going to say yes here. And this will start the Defender UI for us. So let's go ahead and click next. Accept the agreement and then click next again. And this will then start to install the software. And this is it right here. Now, if you want to know who Voodoo Soft is, they are Voodoo Shield. As you can see here, this was the company that had that pretty awesome bit of software back in the day. And uh, I did a video on this many, many years ago. And uh, this is it right here. And these are the people that are making the Defender UI, as you can see down here. So this is their software here. So they're developers of uh, Defender UI. So you know it's a safe piece of software. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. So this is your language area. So you can choose whatever language you like. So if you are a user of Windows Defender, it's advisable to get this installed on the system because it will allow you to make better changes to suit your needs uh, with this software. So we've got recommended, interactive, aggressive, and default. Now by default, obviously it says the default factory Microsoft Defender security configuration and only provides basic antivirus protection. This is what it is out of the box when you first install Windows, you get that default uh, settings. Now the recommended is this one here. Uh, this is recommended security profile that offers enhanced protection and uh, unlocking many of the hidden Microsoft uh, Defender security features that are not available in the default factory configuration. So this security profile is recommended for most casual users. And then you've got the interactive one here, which is this security profile is more secure than the recommended security profile and is designed to interact with the end user. And basically this is for the more advanced users here. And then we've got the aggressive one here, which is the most aggressive security profile that provides advanced protection by unlocking most of the hidden Microsoft security features that are not available in the default factory configuration here. So you have got a bunch of different ones here that you can choose. So let's go ahead and do the recommended for now. And we can always change these at a later date up here, as you can see. So we're going to do this one here. And you can see here, there's a load of information here, which you can read. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to basic here. So inside basic, Okay, so let's take a look at the recommended profile here on the basic setting. And you can see here, uh, behavior monitoring and PUA protection. And you can see here, uh, block at first sight. And we also have the cloud 
protection level here, which is high plus. This can be changed manually if you want to, uh, but it's also set here for you where you can change this to whatever you like. So for instance, if I did default profile, you will see this is changed. And now we can do the more interactive and you can also do the aggressive. Now the aggressive one is zero trust, as you can see here, cloud protection. And you also got 60 seconds uh, cloud check timeout and a bunch of other settings here. So it's quite an aggressive uh, one and that's why it's called aggressive profile. So this might not have, this might affect the way you use your computer uh, quite a bit. So just bear in mind that we're on the basic settings here. So if we go back to recommended, we'll flip over to the advanced section here. And again, scan emails. You can scan all your downloaded files and attachments. This is on the recommended section. Uh, scan scripts, uh, scan archives, and so on. You can see here, scan removable drives and scan your network files and scan map network drives as well. So we can see here, there is a, a bunch of different settings that you can manipulate and that's on the recommended. But if you go to the aggressive uh, setting, not a lot has changed here by the looks of it. Okay, under default, there is a few uh, changes done. So it's not going to scan your email. It's not going to scan removable drives and it's not going to do any of this stuff here. So let's put that back to recommended and we'll move on to this one, ASR rules. And as you can see on the recommended section, there is quite a few rules here. Now you don't see a lot of this stuff inside uh, Windows Defender itself. But with the Defender UI, it's giving you much more control over what's happening on your computer. So you can see here, use advanced protection against ransomware. This is obviously a must. You definitely want to use this uh, setting here. And again, this is on, which I would advise. But by default, these are disabled. All of these are disabled by default. And if we come into aggressive, here, these are now all on. And if we look down here on the recommended, it says warn, it's changed, and it says block abuse of exploited vulnerable signed drivers. So this has changed here. If you put this on aggressive, it's basically going to turn these features on. So you can read through all of this. I'm not going to go through every piece of this, but it just shows you uh, basically the differences in some of these recommended profiles and aggressive profiles. Now you can leave it on the recommended and make a couple of extra changes yourself if you wanted to, if you don't need these features. But if you look here, block JavaScript and VB scripts from launching, download and executable content. This right here is a must uh, for protection. You can see blocking scripts here is definitely a must. But the recommended is a pretty good option to go with because you get pretty good protection through the recommended uh, profile on Defender UI. And uh, I'd advise you to leave those on. Now by default, again, like I said, these are off. And interactive, you can see this one is on, but it's only warning you for these here. And that's not good enough. You wanna block these uh, really on site. Uh, rather than having them running or warning. So we'll put that back to recommended. Now Defender Guard is right here. So you have your real-time protection uh, Defender Guard and also Cloud Delivered Protection Defender Guard and Windows Firewall uh, Defender Guard as well. And you can see these are all set here. And you can change these right here if you wanted to. Now, we'll say that you're going to probably see online people wanting to disable the cloud protection because of the uh, privacy concerns. And to be honest with you, I don't see the point in that. You want protection and you definitely want to leave these enabled. People also talk about disabling uh, the smart screen because obviously it's scanning files and they don't want that information being sent back to Microsoft. But unfortunately, uh, all protection um, on your system, whether it will be uh, Avast or whether it will be uh, Kaspersky or ESET 
or Bitdefender or any of those, it's going to want to send uh, scanned files back so it can uh, basically build up a database of any sort of malicious files that it finds. So you definitely want to have these features enabled. I don't understand why people want to disable security features like these that are there to protect you. And you definitely want to go through this with a fine tooth comb and make sure you enable some of the stuff that you want to enable and you can turn off some of the stuff you don't want to enable. And this gives you more control and much more ease of use in my personal opinion. So I would leave definitely all of these uh, enabled. So that is a Defender UI, a very useful piece of software to help you gain more control over Windows Defender and help protect you and your system and your data. So if you're wondering whether Windows Defender is still good enough, then the answer is yes, it is. As long as you're uh, clued up enough not to click on links that may be malicious or open files that someone has sent you, these are essential settings that you need to have with Windows Defender. It's not the best out there uh, by a long shot, but it's still a decent enough antivirus program uh, to keep you safe. And if we look at the antivirus website here, av-test.org, you can see that it done pretty well in their testing on December 2023. So it got top marks across the board. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. I'll leave a link in the video description for the software so you can check it out. Also, just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.